Unlike with internal combustion engines, Mercedes-Benz is far from being a pioneer of electric vehicles. However, the Germans are finally getting down to business and their all-electric EQ brand is rapidly expanding the lineup. In this video, we will cover all of the Mercedes-Benz premium EVs that prove that being late to the party doesn't mean falling behind the competition. Now is the perfect time to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell. We will be promoting the electric revolution together. Let's get technical. All hail the new king of luxury electric vehicles, the 2022 Mercedes-Benz EQS. Its unorthodox rounded shape takes time to get accustomed to, but you're looking at the most aerodynamic vehicle on the market with a drag coefficient of just 0.2. The flagship liftback is based on the Vision concept and will be sold in two versions. Single motor rear wheel drive EQS 450 plus with 329 horsepower and the 516 HP EQS 580 for Matic dual motor all wheel drive. The WLTP range figures hover near the 478 miles mark. Despite the inherent Mercedes luxury, the EQS becomes the first model to acquire the optional hyper screen, which is basically a 56 inch panel behind Gorilla Glass with three integrated displays. The selection of electric family vehicles has just been expanded with the Mercedes EQB SUV. It is built on the modified MFA platform of the GLB, hence both 5 and 7 seat layouts are available. As usual for the Mercedes EVs, the newcomer has a closed off grille design, distinctive DRLs and wheels with 18 to 20 inch diameter. The first models to roll off the production lines will be EQB 354 Matix with dual motor front wheel drive and a 66 kilowatt hour capacity. In this configuration, the expected range is around 260 miles. Later on, we will welcome a front wheel drive, 250 and 300 four wheel drive with 188 and 241 horsepower. The interior has the familiar arrangement of the GLB with a dual screen MBUX panel, but gets distinctive blue lighting strips. The smallest model of the EQ brand was designed using the GLA crossover as a starting point. The EQA is similar in shape and size, but it gets a more futuristic exterior. Up front, there's a new closed off grille, an LED light strip and advanced headlamps with adaptive high beam tech. The side profile stands out thanks to new bi or tri-color wheels, size 18 or 20 inches. Mercedes plans to offer the EQA in two models, the base front wheel drive crossover with 187 horses and the more powerful modification with two electric motors, all wheel drive and 270 HPS. The maximum range should reach 275 EPA miles or 500 WLTP kilometers. Make your input in the development of electric vehicles by smashing the like button. And thanks for the feedback. Let's get back to it. Long before we ever saw an electric Mercedes, this Super Mini had become the first EV of the EQ brand. Today, Smart is only offered with an electric powertrain, but can still be ordered in three body styles, 4.2, 4.2 Cabrio, and a larger 4.4 with five doors. After the 2020 facelift, the two and four seat models feature revised head and tail lights with optional LEDs. There's a new honeycomb radiator grille with updated air intakes. This city car utilizes a single synchronous motor with 82 horsepower and 118 pound-feet of torque. It is juiced by a 17.2 kilowatt hour battery that stores up to 80 miles of range and utilizes a 22 kilowatt onboard charger. Standard equipment includes 16 inch alloy wheels, a 7 inch infotainment with Bluetooth, Android Auto and Mirror Link.
Launched in Europe as a 2021 model, this is the top of the line, all electric version of the V-Class van. From the outside, the model is distinguished by a black panel grille with chrome fins, standard LED headlights, and unique alloy wheels, either 17 or 18 inches in diameter. Depending on the market, the EQV gets two wheelbase variants and three configurations, a six-seat VIP transporter, a seven-seat family bus, and an eight-seat passenger van. The powertrain consists of a 204 horsepower front mounted electric motor and a 90 kilowatt hour battery that is claimed to provide 260 miles of range. Being a Mercedes, the EQV offers a quiet, soft ride and plenty of tech as standard. Similar in size to the brand's GLC class, this model laid foundation for the entire EQ sub-brand. The EQC 400 SUV is equipped with two electric motors that produces 408 horsepower combined, an 80 kilowatt hour battery good for 220 miles, and it will accelerate to 60 in 5.1 seconds. These EVB numbers aren't that impressive, so the model attempts to compensate with pure Mercedes quality on the inside with gorgeous rose gold finishings. You'll recognize the center console with a large MBU-X infotainment. The cabin uses renewable materials such as hemp, canaf, wool, cotton, paper, and natural rubber. The AMG line trims get on board a Burmester surround system, air balance filtration, head-up display, and smart assistant. European businesses have had a chance to expand their cargo fleets with electric sprinters since the summer of 2020. This van is offered with two battery packs, 41 and 55 kilowatt hours with the projected range of 72 to 104 miles and maximum payload capacity of 2300 pounds. The e-sprinter van gets regular and high roof configuration with the maximum loading volume of 371 cubic feet. Targeting commercial fleet operators, Mercedes also equipped the model with standard speed limiter that can set the top speed to 50, 62, or 75 miles per hour. According to the latest announcements, the second generation of the model is already in development. It will be built over a dedicated modular platform and shall be available on the North American market as well. Though the third member from the Mercedes 4x4 family is unlikely to become a production model, it still excels at demonstrating the full off-road potential of electric vehicles. Based on the EQC 400 formatic, it features the same 400 horsepower drivetrain, but gets a new suspension setup with four link portal axles. The change allows to double the SUV's ground clearance to 11.5 inches and increase the water fording capability to 15.75 inches. The model rides on 20-inch wheels wrapped in rugged tires and gets a special noise generator system to enhance your driving experience. The standard e-Actros was first unveiled in 2018 and after extensive real-world urban distribution testing, Daimler is ready to start series production by the end of this year. The model should arrive in two variants, 18 or 25 tons, both powered by a two-motor drivetrain making over 300 horses. It should also offer 124 miles of range. For 2024, the company has announced the long-haul version of the truck. As the name applies, this model will be able to carry out regular journeys on long-distance routes. The official teasers reveal that the long haul will feature a sleeker and more streamlined exterior with its specifications promise 45 ton gross vehicle weight rating and at least 300 miles on a drive.
We're doing our best to promote the electric revolution, but we need your help in spreading the EV word. Subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, and share this episode with your friends. Check out more videos suggested on the screen and come back next week for more electric news.